Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about just how much money Shane Dawson is going to pull in with his deal with Jeffree Star. And I'm not talking about just the money that he's going to be making off the palette, which a lot of people are talking about right now, but I'm also going to break down how much he is possibly pulling in from his merch sales. So yesterday, Shane released his fourth episode in the series with Jeffree Star titled The $20 Million Deal with Jeffree Star. And in this video, they go through the details of the palette order, as well as the liquid lipstick order, how much that the retail sales could possibly be and how much Shane could be taking home from the deal as well with a complete sellout. So here is a clip from that video that they explain all of the details. You know, the timing and then getting uh, compliant for all the channels will affect it, but you get starting of uh, about 350,000 units, about 13, 14 million dollars in sales, up to half a million units, 20 million dollars in sales. And I was that for the 18 took... shade or the nine nine pan? Hold on together. So Got you. That's really great. They wanted. That's what I'm talking Which about. Which is about 44 percent of the big. Okay. That's really great. Not to just pile on beyond that, but any chance you have an insight on liquid lips? Yes, we did pull some preliminary numbers for that. Yep. Um, then we'll obviously look at all the shades, do the shade ranking. Like, and I do think something like hearing about the gloss, which I think will be a massive home run, right? We didn't plan for that, so we can just go back and only think a forecast like that would be. Yeah, I okay. guess. Um, <laughs> look at that. We'll just, just pulling her, her numbers yeah. back. Um, the liquid list is a quick number, about 15,000 units. I don't know, break down across the six. Uh, and I've heard all six weeks. Okay, great. So we're gonna be way ahead of the game and we're so excited. We have every color done, everything's turned in, so we are ready to roll. Amazing. Yeah. All right, perfect. Okay. Nice. Awesome, Yay. thank you so much. So exciting. We are so, I don't know, we're just definitely very magical experience Yay. for all of us. Thank you guys, I'm so excited. I'm, I never thought I'd be so excited about makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but I am. Right. Get more and more excited too. Yeah. Yeah. This is the beginning. Exactly. All right, well, let us know if you have any comments, questions. We'll be in touch. All right, thank you so much, ladies. Thanks, all. Hey, have a great day. Bye. 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 Wow, the projections were way more than Mark thought. Oh, Let's talk, let's talk, let's digest. Yeah, roughly 425,000 total palettes, 90,000 liquid lips. 90,000? Across the six shades, yeah. That's cool. But I think they fully grasped what Shane was saying. Like, hi, you guys can say all that, but also know my worth. You know what I mean? Like, you're being a part of this huge thing as well. Like, it's so cool. So now, on, the, the even more stressful part is figuring out the second half of those numbers which is what we're going to order for ourselves. And why we called you here. Yeah. <laughs> With their projections, and I, I would say even sticking to, you know, trying to stay on for an initial launch, for us alone, between 250 to 300,000 per pallet for just the dot com. That's an initial launch during the holiday at just under a million pallets total. Oh my god, that's scary. Sorry. <laughs> that's so Wait, crazy. What? I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's overwhelming for me to hear. That would be my biggest purchase order. Well, like, at, buy at, a long shot. Like, as, as one order, one too. Order. Like, yeah. you're, we're ordering a year's worth of last year's blood sugar in one fucking day. It's like... <laughs> insert volcano uh, <laughs> clip. <laughs> so let's just say if we sold all of ours plus Morphe, what would be the combined? Ugh. Uh, give me one second. Rough, uh -huh. please. I like it rough. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So what, it, it's a variation, but it's, it's, hear, it's, it's in the mid thirties. Yeah. What? Yeah. So our, our the, the, this collection could do about thirty five million. <laughs> at, at a sell -out, yeah. Yeah. Under these numbers. That's without reorder. <laughs> yeah. The makeup industry is crazy. So with a complete sellout of all of the liquid lipsticks and all of the palettes, he's looking at taking home possibly $10 million in his bank account. That is 
absolutely insane. But after watching this series, I think a lot of people are starting to realize how insane the makeup industry really is. But that's not even the most of it. Let's talk about what he could be making with his merch sales. So on top of launching his palette with Jeffree Star, Shane has also come out with an entire new line of merch. And as you scroll through his merch page, everything is completely sold out. So let's quickly just go over what he all has on his merch site. He has fleece hoodies for sale for $45 to $55 and a pair of fleece joggers for sale for $45. He has a Conspiracy Tea t-shirt for sale for $25. He has two pig backpacks, both for $80, and two cell phone cases for $18. And lastly, he has two hats for sale for $25 each. When you break down each category for selling just one item in each, you get the fleece category at a total of $444, tees at $25, accessories at $196, and headwear at $50, for a total of $771 just for selling one item in each category. Shane and Jeffrey have not said how many items in each category that they have, but if I had to guess, knowing that they were going to sell a ton of these, even a lowball estimate would have been like 10,000 items per category. So I'm gonna base that off of that number, what I believe he could be making off his merch, Again, these aren't numbers that they've released. It's just what I'm assuming. If they're going to be ordering, you know, a million pallets, I would not assume that ordering 10,000 items in each of these categories per item is out of the question. So assuming each item in each category has 10,000 units, for the fleece category, he would be making 4,444,000. Tees category would be 250,000. Accessories category would be 1,960,000. Headwear would be at 500,000 for a total of $7,110,000 off of his new merch. And from what we have learned in the other episode with Shane when he was discussing the merch deal, Killer Merch offers a 70-30 split, means that Shane gets to keep 70% and Killer Merch gets the other 30%. So he could actually be taking home almost $5 million dollars and his merch sold out in 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, he could have possibly made at least almost $5 million. Now, honestly, I believe that this is even a low estimate. With the amount of followers that Shane has and the fact that he hasn't really released new merch in a while, I feel like a lot of his fans have been waiting for new merch. And so I believe he could have easily doubled, if not tripled this, meaning that he took home up to $15 million dollars in 30 minutes. And knowing that his merch sold out in 30 minutes, we absolutely know that there will definitely be a restock in this. And I'm sure that they already have plans for other items to come out. I remember them talking about robes and slime and none of that has been on the website yet. So I'm assuming they could be coming out with that later on, maybe for the holiday or maybe sometime next year, but that'll be other items that will add on to his total merch sales as well. I honestly feel every time that they restock his merch, it's gonna continue to sell out 100% for the next few times. I mean, I would say four or five times it's gonna completely sell out because there are people who instantly right away were like, oh, I was trying to order something, but when I clicked check out, it was already gone, I'm sad, and these are people who have been waiting for it. So as soon as it gets relaunched, you know that it's gonna definitely sell again and again and again. So if he's making anywhere between five and $15 million off of every time it sells out, I mean, he's gonna make a ton of money off of this. Like Jeffrey said last time, if you had the right merch deal, you would have already been able to retire and buy two houses. And I'm sure a lot of people are like, yeah, okay, sure. But when you break down the numbers like this, it's 100% true that he could definitely be retired after all of his merch sales. But that is my opinion on breaking down how much Shane Dawson is actually making off of this collab with Jeffree Star. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So please let me know how much do you think he's actually making? Do you think he's making more? Do you think he's making less? What do you think about all of his merch that he has released? And also, what do you think about the palette? How are you liking the series so far? Let me know. I am loving the business aspect to it. 
I mean, I do wish there's a little bit more tea, but I mean, that's definitely going to come along when we get closer to Dramageddon 2.0. So we'll just have to wait for those episodes to drop. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon and set all of your notifications to on so you will be notified of every time I upload a new video. I try to upload as frequently as possible. All right, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.